girl break way since morning The girl get loose since morning Feel the vibe and take off she clothes Now the bumper explodes It's all I'm Live in New York It's the Mixie Show Hey, this is your girl Queen Mixie We're here at the Mixie Show And this is our carnival edition You know what it is already? DJ Stacks Live and direct International Club King The Haitian King I'm here to break some news to you I'm here to give you some 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 melee, some zen, like, you know what I mean? For the first time, DJ Stacks will be live on the Uber Soka Cruise. Not even one, but both of them. You understand what that means? November the 1st to November the 5th, heard sold out, 8,000 people, it's a movie, ah, crazy. The next one, November 5th to the 9th. Listen, when I get to, when I, when I start, Uber Soka Cruise, baby, 2018. Like those blossom in spring, with a huge response pushing the culture, mm -hmm. you were actually hard, hard requested to go to Uber Soka Cruise where they had to make it happen. And at a perfect time because they actually cruised into Haiti, not once, but twice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So where did you get this big platform that they're doing these huge requests to get you on Uber Soka Cruise? I mean, over the years, I feel like I created my platform, mm -hmm. in a sense, where it's like, you go to regular parties and everybody's partying, regular clubs, dance hall, soca, but you don't really know who's Haitian and who's not, because Haitian yeah. go everywhere. Yeah. So until you get to that point where you actually, who's in the building, it's like, and even me, like my first experience, I was playing um, Temptations. I was probably like 17. And my boy was like, yo, I need you to play tomorrow. I'm like, all right, cool, so I come with my stuff. He's like, yo, play compa. I'm like, what? Like, you trying to throw me under the bus in here. <laughs> He's like, no, play compa. I'm like, all right. First song, second song, and the room just erupted. And I'm like, damn. But then you really won't know who's there unless you call them out. So then it's yeah. like, okay, so from then it was just like a, like I would just randomly throw compa in, in, in the middle of my set. Like I'd be playing dance or playing whatever, and it's like, oh. Like he went left. And then just, people just started to know me as that. Like, okay, he's always just, just repping, no matter what it is. Always got a flag on me. People ask me, why you rep Haiti so hard? And I'm like, why not? Well, it is your culture. Yeah. But um, speaking of that, I noticed that from a lot of playing where I saw you, for example, like Curl Fest and stuff, you have mm -hmm. definitely a lot of crowd control. Like, you move the crowd the way you need to move it, and your sets are always super amazing. How do Thank you, you get... Because I see a lot of DJs play, but the way you get the crowd so hype and so into it, like, I think... I got people on my page was like, just have DJ Stack on Curl Fest. Not to throw shade at any other DJs, right, but right. they were literally like, just have him. He shut it down. Like, it was like 10,000 people and everything. With you having this awesome, amazing crowd control, how do you do that? Because it's just amazing. And I saw you at Curl Fest and you just took over the crowd and just moved the crowd where they didn't even want you to come off. I mean, I think there's a difference between just DJing, standing behind a you know, whatever you're standing behind and playing and entertaining. Mm -hmm. So like you have a massive crowd in front of you, it's, it's a crazy feeling to say up, down, left, right, and they're actually like, mm -hmm. so you control the mood, you control everything. Uh, to me, that's, that's what differ differentiates a regular DJ and an entertainer. Because like, mm -hmm. when artists go out there, you have an artist that just sits there, and then you have an artist that actually dances and, yeah. and, and stands with people. So to me, it's, it's, it's all about vibe. Like if you set that tone and they, and they catch, then it's, it's gone from there. So, I mean, that's me. I, I feel like I need to interact with my people. And you do such a great job at interacting. What would you tell as a DJ coming up how to be in the same position, if that makes sense? I mean, just confidence. Okay. Confidence. I never used to talk. I didn't talk at all. Like, I was scared of talking. Period. I was scared of You would never think that, because the way you get on the mic and just shut it down. I was afraid of talking. Like, I remember I was in a big party. I'm talking about Stone Love, Pretty Party. Like, everybody was there. Mm -hmm. And I used to always play and have other people mic for me. So I, I got comfortable like that. Yeah. I never wanted to talk. Just, and they're like, nah, Stash, you got to talk, bro. And I'm like, nah, I'm not doing that. Stash, you got to talk, bro. And it's like big two o'clock in the morning. Egg party's crazy. Okay. And they all walked away. They all just, all right, cool. So after a while I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm like, damn, like the vibe ain't the same. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I'm playing hits. And it's like, ah, oh, hey. And it's just like, oh, okay. So then after a while, I was like, oh, you gotta be yourself. You just gotta, like I used to talk with an accent. I used to put on that whole dance song, rare, rare, rare. And I'm like, yo, that's not me. Mm -hmm. so, so you just end up 
kind of just finding yourself. But you have to be confident. You have to be confident. You got to know, you got, you got to think fast. Like, I could look at her right now and just, da -da -da -da, blonde hair, da -da -da, gray hair. Yeah. Like, you have to be on it and be very creative because you get boring after a while. Once you get boring, they're going to see it. So, actually, this year you're going to be playing on the Parkway. Mm -hmm. And who are you playing with? I will be on the Bumbleshit Mask Camp. Which is actually the first. The first Haitian, official Haitian Mask Camp yeah. band that's going to be on the Parkway. Woo! -hoo! <laughs> Supporting the team. Definitely, and definitely. definitely. So you about to shut it down on the parkway. Oh, yeah, all day. I mean, we always have like a rush of Haitians where I see this one little kid running. The Haitians are coming. The Haitians are coming. <laughs> and now to have you on the parkway controlling that level of crowd, do you think you... Yeah, it's going to be fun. You, you ready for that? Yeah, you ready yeah, for that? You also work with a lot of celebrities because I think I also met you at Safari's um was fur coat yeah, fur yeah, yeah, coat yeah. release parties and yeah. you do a lot of events you know how is it working and interacting with those kind of people i mean it's dope it's cool they're they're cool i mean it's just i don't know i guess i meet so many people mm -hmm. and i've met so many people over the years yeah that it just becomes like it's natural so we put a question out there on my instagram page and we got a lot of a lot of lot of a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. One of the things were, you know, are you married? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm married to money. <laughs> <laughs> so the grind is more real than anything yeah, else. Facts, all day. The grind is real. Without the grind, you can't do nothing else. What's, what is your drive for your grind, though? What do you mean? Like, what, do you, what motivates you to do this grind every single day? Because a lot of DJs are in New York, but they don't have the same grind mm -hmm. as you. I mean, one, I'm a passion for music. I feel like every day is a different day. Every crowd is a different crowd. Every party is a different party. I mean, that, and then it's just like, I see what music can, can bring you. Mm -hmm. Like, I used to have a, a nine to five. Like, I had a career job, you know, I got my degrees. And then I started seeing a shift in me, like, doing more events and mm -hmm. who I was meeting. And you know, it could be personality, it could be anything. And then it was like, you know what, let me give myself a, tr a try, a full try. Like, I resigned, I said, I'm gonna give this my all, and if I get to a certain point and it don't work, then I, you know, go back to what I was doing. And it was like, damn, you could buy a house off of this, you could buy a nice car off of this. So it's, it's now it's like, okay, well, I know doctors that got nice cars, but I got the same car that this, this doctor got. Or, mm -hmm. So then it puts you in a different mindset. Like, okay, okay if I can go this far, I can go further than that. So the, to me, it's just like being be your own boss. Like, you your own. So you nobody. just made it a business for yourself. Yeah, definitely. And that's where that's where it got interesting. Yeah, I think a lot of DJs forget that DJing nah. is a business. Definitely, big business. Well, we were super excited to have you. You know, we couldn't go through all the thousand questions, people. <laughs> but tell everybody where they can find you, where they can follow you, and any events that you're having going on. Um, well, all the social networks: uh, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. It's DJ Stacks. Uh, Finding me is not hard. I'm in somebody's party doing something. You know what it is already? DJ Stacks, live and direct, International Club King, the Haitian King. I'm here to break some news to you. I'm here to give you some, some, some melee, some zen, like, you know what I mean? For the first time, DJ Stacks will be live on the Uber Soka Cruise. Not even one, but both of them. You understand what that means? November the 1st to November the 5th, heard it sold out, 8,000 people, it's a movie, ah, crazy. The next one, November 5th to the 9th. Listen, when I get to... When I, when I start... Uber Soko Crows, baby, 2018. The Nixie Show is proud to present this awesome artist named Kunan to do a live performance for our awesome audience.
you want for take control of it, yeah. Boy, you better sell your soul for this. And I'm so serious, no joking. Love so strong, it's potent. I'm gonna need all your devotion. He love my body for certain. Like Aliyah, come rock my boat. And boy, keep it going, don't stop. Keep it coming, don't stop, yeah. You love it when I bubble panta. Love how I bubble panta, yeah. Waste like a clock tick tock. Waste like a clock tick tock, yeah. Give it to me, baby, don't stop. Give it to me, baby, don't stop. You better take time, slow wine, slow wine, I dig it Stop chatting, boy, come show me Like what you wanna do with it, uh Start acting like a fool for this, yeah I'ma put you in the mood for this I wanna see you handle my bad girl rudeness Boy, keep it going, don't stop Keep it coming, don't stop, yeah You love it when I bubble on top Love how I bubble on top, yeah Waste like a clock tick tock it's like a clock tick tock, yeah. Give it to me, baby, don't stop. Give it to me, baby, don't stop. Na na na, na make it look easy. I'ma give you that work like re re. Na na na, I make it look easy. I'ma give you that work like re re. the Mitchie Show and we're here with an awesome artist that I like so much is Nessa. Hey, how you Woo! doing? <laughs> yes. So what's up? Girl, so you it's got a, a lot of... By the way, it's an honor to be here. Thank oh, you. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You have so much going on. Let's first start. You blew up with the Tingo, but you have so much music. How did that start? Because I don't think you even expected it to go... <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I honestly didn't expect Tingo to be the success that it was. When I did it, it was just, you know, a song that I love and was like, yeah, let's put this out. Um, and, you know, I still be amazed at how the song can't stop growing. It, it just keeps growing. People calling me the Tingo girl, which, by the way, I do not like because I have a lot more music coming. Yeah, so Tingo, it, was, it wasn't expected to be mm -hmm. the smash hit that it is, but you know, we're grateful. Um, I, I always like um, when things like that happen and it's so unexpected, it's like you you really don't think about it in the moment when you're working on mm -hmm. it, but then afterwards you're like, yeah boy, I could see why doing this or working with this person or whatever, why it work out for the best, so Tingo. Tingo. That's well, we have goes. another amazing song, Major, which I feel like that's another woman's anthem for like, don't play with my heart. Don't. When I saw the beginning of the video, I was just like, yes, yes, <laughs> <laughs> don't play with me. Yeah, it's, it's one of those, um, as I say, I do music mostly for the ladies. I like, I like them to feel like they could um, feel what I'm going through and, you know, we could resonate with one another as women. So major was one of those songs like, you know, you're with someone and you know, you're just, yo, we, we in this and don't play with my feelings, don't play with my heart because you know, it's a major part of my life. So. 
that is a beautiful song. I saw you, you're going to be on the parkway this Labor Day, aren't you? Yes, I will be out there with Sean J. So you take a look out for me on the truck and on the road because to me, playing mass is all about the road, you know. Yes, as artists, we like to be up on the truck looking, you know, all <laughs> fancy, right? but you have to come down in the road and bubble in the road. That is what it's about, freedom. So, you know, look out for me on the road and on the truck. So, you being on the road, this definitely new song that came out, you and um, Syndicate Music, Bashgal, which just dropped today, yay! <laughs> Yo, Bashgal, it is on the Bashgal rhythm. Big up all the artists on the rhythm, it's a, it's a Trini Jamaican yes. collaboration with all the artists on the rhythm. Um, big up Syndicate Music, DJ Future, you know, um, big up man like um, Pancho, and um, Chevy, the whole team. And yes, and, um, Bash Girl was one of those songs that, you know, when I heard it, I was like, yeah, the girls going and get crazy for this one. Because I see you getting crazy yes, behind the Yes, I just came into this, so, you know, like, whining, and I could be doing a split on the road. Don't Ooh. video me if you see me splitting on the road, please. That please is what my, it is about, know. freedom. <laughs> I really, really like the rhythm, and you have such a unique voice also, which is very different. And you have, I think from Tingo and other songs, like it's very good into trans crossover music, and I think you give that good feeling. So um, between the Bashgal rhythm, it feels like it's a crossover from Soka and Dance Hall, and it just seems so amazing. Well, um, when this song was presented to me, the first time I heard it, I was like, yeah. This is Nessa Preppy all the way. This this song, ladies, when you hear this one, just get crazy, get loose. Don't study nobody. <laughs> so what do you have also going on, going in the future, tours, different stuff? Well, I have a lot more shows um, internationally coming up. Um, I have a lot more music coming out. Um, my, you can look out for a lot of stuff with me and London Future. Um, a lot more stuff with people like First Class, Travis World, uh, Mega Mick. Plenty, plenty, plenty producers, plenty artists, plenty writers. Um, I just have a whole lot of stuff coming. Um, music videos, some personal, you know, vlogs and stuff that I'm getting into as well. Because, you know, people want to get up close and personal. They want to mm -hmm. learn things about Nessa. So, you know. Yes, I got a couple of questions in my DM for you, you know. Really? Yeah, people wondering <laughs> if you're married, if you're single, if you're taken. <laughs> I put you up and then the flood of questions just started coming in. Lord. Um, well, should, what questions do you have for me? You're married? Um, I am engaged. Yeah. <laughs> that is so exciting. Uh, yeah. Do you have plans already for the wedding or are you just taking it as time can I'm go? I'm just taking it as time go along, you know. Right now I'm so busy with um, all this music stuff, you know. So things like that is really, when I find some downtime and I start to like meditate on that, I will plan. And I need advice from you because you can balance a whole guy and a whole <laughs> career too. <laughs> Most women are finding that very hard. Yo, and cooking and cleaning. Wait, you do the cooking and cleaning? Yes. Okay, okay. A West Indian woman. Yes. Uh, eat. Cooking and cleaning. Your mother, <laughs> bong to get in that kitchen growing up. <laughs> bong to get to cook, to clean everything. You know, um, but you know, I always try to, I always try to make it where it's not that one thing is consuming me, but like I just divide myself so, Cooking, cleaning, music, family, friends, relationship. I just, Fun. right now, I divide myself into like 10 parts to get everything done. So, yeah, that's just it. That's great that you have all this stuff going on. Let everybody know where to find you, where to look up with you. Well, you can find me on Instagram at Nessa Preppy, Twitter at Nessa Preppy, Facebook at Nessa Preppy, simple. No one, two, three, four, five, and all of that. Just <laughs> Nessa Preppy. Um, Check me out on YouTube, subscribe to my page, and you know, just look out. When you see Nessa Preppy video, click, like, share, and yes. enjoy. Please support the artist. She's amazing. She's definitely about to perform for us, and we're super excited. She's going to be performing a couple of tunes for us, so we're super <laughs> excited. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so stay tuned for all the shows and the performances going on, guys.